We've looked at raising an exponent to an exponent, and now we're just going to look at some slightly more complicated examples of the same thing. Okay, so if we have something like this, what we have is that that negative 3p to the power of 5 is that whole thing is being squared, in other words, multiplied by itself. And so now we've got a whole lot of things multiplied together, so we can go ahead and do that. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and p to the 5 times p to the 5 is going to be p to the 10. But we also want to be able to do it without having to go through writing it all out, simply using the kind of rule we have been. And the thing that's important here to note is that this squared applies to everything in the brackets. So it must apply to the negative 3, and it also must apply to the p to the 5. So negative 3 squared is 9, and p to the 5 squared, using the rule we've just been looking at, is going to be p to the 5 times 2, and so we get our answer. Okay. I want you to try this next one for yourself. Pause the video, try it now, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so hopefully you were carefully thinking that this to the power 5 has to apply to each and everything in here. And hopefully you also remembered that a is just a to the power of 1. So what you're going to get is 2 to the power of 5, and then a to the power of 5, and then b to the power of 4 times 5. 2 to the 5 is 32, a to the 5, and b 20. Just a word of caution. I've always said multiplication and division in algebra are very nicely behaved, and addition and subtraction aren't. And it's the same story here too. a b squared, right? It's just a b multiplied by a b and so you get all these things multiplied together. So you've got an A multiplied with an A, which is A squared, and a B multiplied with a B, which is B squared. Very, very nicely behaved, right? Your, your squared is just simply going with each of those things in there. What's not nicely behaved is if you've got A plus B squared. We can't simply do that thing of saying that that will be equal to A squared plus B squared. We absolutely cannot do that. Why? Because a plus b squared means a plus b multiplied by a plus b, and our distributive law will then tell us that this a has to multiply with both things in this bracket, and this b has to multiply with both things in that bracket, and so what you end up with is a times a, which is a squared, then you have a times b, which is ab, and then you have b times a, which is ba, and then you have b times b, which is b squared, and so you get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We're going to go over this a lot more later on in the year, but I just want you to note for now that although it's absolutely fine, when you've got multiplication inside the bracket and exponent out to just simply apply the exponent to each thing in the bracket, it's not okay if you have addition or subtraction.